Yeah, maybe. Or not. Or not. Oh, now we are. We're live. I think. Hello? Yeah. Let me just share the. Um, shut up, me. Yeah, turn that right off. Um. Snapchat. He loves it, Bing Cortana. Hey, fair player, welcome back, lads. Uh, we're just going to send out the link and then we'll be. We've just got a few squad players that actually want to jump on and see what we've done to them. Well, uh. Yeah, he, he's he's been good to be fair. He's, he, 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 yeah, he, he was poor last season. Uh, he was defensively, he was quite open, but he, he's he's improved. At centre back, fifty pace. The list is <laughs> It is Lewis Allen. He is American. He couldn't be any other fucking nationality. So he is American. Uh, how he's shooting sixty-two, I will never know. But to be fair, four-star skill moves, Louis Allen. He's that the ball. Skipper, big collar banks, seventy-five eight. Oh, oh, I've I've got a little bit faster in me in me. I've aged like a fine wine. One thing you always shout to me about is his pace. He always says I'm a lot quicker than what you put me to. 75. Did you tell everyone that this is a made up team? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then Jockey Harvey here. Super, super Jockey Harvey. Um, well, I'm not lying, when he started he was 59 rated. So, two seasons in 65. He was also absolutely abysmal when we started it. But, He's become a decent player there. Yeah, he's, he's, he's very good for us. Uh, this is super Freddy Cardwell. He is, as you can tell by his stats, <laughs> the only thing he's good at is defending his physicality. <laughs> he's use. just a brick wall, basically. A running brick wall. He, he literally is. Nothing gets past him. He, you know, he takes his brush onto the pitch and he cleans up all the stuff. <laughs> uh, we'll flip Alex Blake back. This is Blake Ivory Keith now. This guy is completely made up. Completely made up. To the point where we don't even know him. He just came out of a very, very bizarre conversation one night, and we invented this big Ghanaian man called Lakai Pekin. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying Well, you've you've got. I mean, we we played. We had a we had a bit of a a bet didn't we and we played against each other in a little five a side game yeah. and um, we brought Josh Harvey just to make up the numbers basically and and he literally in a, in, a, in a five a side game where everyone moves around and no one's really stuck to a position Josh Harvey literally stood in left back like he didn't move from that position and he was shit defensively so it's a bit of a meme that he's got in the team but He's been good for us. He's been one of our best players, uh, and we've been very honest with his stats as well. Like we've made him shite. Yeah, because he doesn't move from that position. It's a fantastic stand. 
Right, we have switched into a can because we accidentally, we didn't accidentally sell our other can, but, but uh, we, we accidentally expected a bit of a lower offer for him. And now they're asking for ridiculous money for him to, back. to bring him back. But once we've got the money, we will we'll bring Joel back. So we've got Ronan here. He does play CDM for us, but he can't play camp. Um, decent player, technically good, just a bit slow. Like, he, he just can't do it. Now, this is Molly Barton. Molly Barton, obviously, woman. <laughs> so, she's got a fake tash. <laughs> Still got the ponytail, she's got a fake tash. I mean, she was a striker and she was okay, she was a bit small. She just. But we then flicked her to a winger and suddenly she turns an 80 over. <laughs> yeah, she was just class. So I think it's the pace, that she's just so fast. Um, just in between as well, like if anyone in the chat wants to bring up any deals with it being deadline day that have gone through that you want our opinions on, obviously if it's a lower league one I'll probably talk, if, if it's maybe the Liverpool one we'll let Dan speak. Uh, just just in between, like with us playing and stuff it's just something to talk about. If there's any deals that maybe are going through or that your club are doing, feel free to just let us know. Go for it. Uh, then obviously Craig has got to be in there, the the gaffer of Styles. You couldn't have a Styles FC with uh, without Craig. And to be fair, he's he's pfft, inconsistent. To be honest, he's uh, he, he's 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 awful with his head, and you probably see it throughout the game. He, he'll have a header, and it will go absolutely fucking nowhere. But it's the fringe. When we did take him out of the team, and he was looking like he wasn't getting back into it. Um, <laughs> he, he then just started performing. Uh, we've got a comment. Yeah, Joshy. Oh, that's a good dude. Pick into Rovers. Uh, we we did no. We did actually talk about this before. We did mention you before. We said you're going to be crying, but he has been loaned back to Crew. So, it, so it's a half a good do for you. It's. I hate it because he's gone to Blackburn and he's clearly a very good player. And obviously, I hate Blackburn, but it's tears at out least of one you eye. have got him back to the to the end of the season. Uh, that's just, probably just the tears out of one eye, Josh. You don't need to cry fully. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you this will is get James, him back. This is James Darby now. Uh, James is Connor's fella. We run out of friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a very honest yeah, man. Yeah, we yeah. we run out of friends in terms of uh, styles. So we just started bringing in associates. Probably where we could have shoved uh, Jake in, but we. Yeah. Oh, Jake. Yeah, Jake. Sorry, Jake. You could have been le left mid, but pff, do you know what I mean? You you've been pipped to it by James Darby. Who, to be fair, is you will see he's fantastic. He just misses a few easy chances, but he also scores some absolute pingers. <sighs> and then it's the man up top. It's me. I mean, look look at my attributes. I mean, I'm not as quick as Molly, but I'm just a goal machine. I'm like Jermaine Defoe back in the day, but a bit taller and a bit quicker. A bit taller? All right, a lot taller, but absolute goal machine. Uh, flick down to the bench. This is Matty Robinson now. Matty Robbo is he's one of mine Connor's friends. <laughs> he is <sighs> huge. Massive. He's massive, like absolutely massive. So he's our sub keeper. Now, as you can tell by his diving, he can't get down very much. But his handling's great because he's always handling pies and pasties and food. <laughs> his kicking's fantastic, but that's just because of the size of his legs. Uh, Mikey Orton, centre back, comes in, does a good job. He just, you know, pops in when he needs to. He's not too fussed about playing all the time. Sammy Laycock. Now, club legend. Club legend. Just a club legend. Josh, a nice Josh you will realise, right, he, yes, he is a right back. Yes, you do start. But Sam but is a club Sam. legend because in our two seasons at the club, he has taken <laughs> two, two, or two, two or three pay cuts. Yeah. We currently pay him £900 <laughs> a week on a five-year contract. <laughs> so... He is just a club legend. He's I, not in it for the money. I've He's got just a question for Josh, actually, with him being in the chat. Go on. Um, I've just seen on Twitter, I'm not sure how advanced it is, but I've heard that Charlton have also bid for um, Charlie Kirk, and apparently it's been held up with whether um, Madison goes to Bolton, which obviously I hope not because Madison's an alright little player and I wouldn't want him to go to Bolton. But how are you feeling that uh, you might actually end the day without Charlie Kirk and... You might have Pickering, but he's only on loan and he's actually left. So how are you feeling that? Don't I mean, I, I, I've watched Charlie Kirk quite a lot. He, he's quite a good player. 
the way it's going, Josh, how are you feeling that you might end the day, as it seems, without a bloody squad? <laughs> yeah. You seem to be selling everyone. You're going to end up with no squad. But to be honest, I'm surprised we've not been linked with any of your centre-backs, because <laughs> we've been linked with every other centre-back on the planet, including Mustafi at one point. I think I'd have rather have taken yours, Josh. Um, these guys here, so this is Connor Wynn. He's he come through the, the youth academy. We needed some extra players, so he come through the youth. Same with this guy here, Louis Dallas. Good little player, not bad. Now, right, this guy's name... I think it's actually like John. I think Joey. it's I think it's John or Jordan or something, but we couldn't remember, so he's now just known as Bobby Watson, which to be quite honest suits him better. Yeah, we, so we love Bobby. If we, if we ever say Bobby, but you see his first initial is J, yes, it is Jordan Watson, but it's not. It's Bobby. It's Bobby. Uh, and there's Blakai. We've shown you already. And then these are just some, you know, just some young lads. They might pop into stars now and again. You never know. But there's some. <laughs> if, some I mean, if I saw a big winter in there, honest, I think I'd be leaving. I, I think He's I'd probably tank. I'd probably get winter as a doorman <laughs> rather than asking him for a pint. He's absolutely mad. He's just show huge. him on the squad thing. I'll, I'll get him up. Yeah, we'll get winter up just so you can see. He He's just probably would be suited better as uh, a doorman. Got Smith in on loan from Arsenal, who's in Kirk's position. He's signed a long contract. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't know that. Um, I, I've seen that they got Matt Smith in. Um, well, I didn't know that he'd just sign a the contract, so maybe, maybe he will stay, but... Um, can also, if anyone in here is keeping up with deadline day, if Liverpool do confirm uh, Ozanka back, can somebody let me know, please? Because then it means... I don't like him, don't it means I can have a drink and celebrate the fact that we do have a centre-back. This is big Lucas Winter. Now, I'm sorry, but if you turn That up, doesn't even do him justice when we play it, him in the game. It doesn't. If you turned up without your ID... Have you turned up a bit too drunk? You are not arguing with Lucas Winter. And the man's 17. I'm sorry, he can't even drink in styles. And look at the size of him. What's going on here? Uh, I, I think, think he's he has been, been confirmed. confirmed. I, I hope so, because we need a centre-back. I don't really know much about him, but I think it's a cracking deal by Michael Edwards. I think he's done great. To get him on a, an option to buy rather than obligation is great, but we'll see, to be quite honest. <laughs> I'd have taken anyone apart from Mustafi. I'd have taken anyone at this point because we don't have anyone. But I do worry that come the end of the season, if we if we sign this Ben Davis as well, come the end of the season, we're going to have quite a few, quite a few centre backs, and a couple may have to go. Ravenscroft has said one mil up front and an eighteen mil option at the end of the loan. Yeah, I mean to be honest. 18 million for a centre back is is it's not a bad do at, at all. At eight, uh, uh, 20. at 20, he's, he's not he, a bad do, especially when you know he probably will be quite happy to be sort of third choice centre back at Liverpool when when it's over. I'd cash in on Joel Matip at the end of the season because the man is made of poppadoms, <laughs> and can't be saying that. Anything that we we sell him for, to be honest, is profit. So I, I, at the end of the season, I'd be cashing in on Liverpool get Ben Davis too much. Well. Yeah, that's what I mean. We've we, we're signing a, a lot of centre backs. Like we've that gone one from confuse, none. That confuses me with if a back is is confirmed, like like you've said. Why Ben Davis Why as we well? Got, yeah, it's that's what especially I mean. when he had the option of. I mean, it was it was pretty yeah. much set in stone that he was going to uh, to Celtic on a pre contract. Hands off, Omar Beckles. <laughs> Josh, mate. We we what? honestly. <laughs> from waking up this morning saying we have no centre backs, I'm now telling you we have too many centre backs. Um, but you know, Beckles Bar, <laughs> Beckles Bar. But to be honest with you, you know, like I said, I, I'd cash in on Joel Matip. I'd get rid of Reese Williams because, quite frankly, I I think the man is is awful. I was saying this a few weeks ago, you know, when everyone was hyping Reese Williams, uh, I was saying to people I really don't rate him as a centre back, and I'm just quite honest, I think I've been proven right. So I'd cash in on John Matip because anything we get is profit. I'd sell or at least loan out Reese Williams. And if this Quebec's half decent, then you know, 18 mil's not a bad pop for him. I'd take him third, fourth choice centre back, and then Nat Phillips because I think that man is is superb. He's class yesterday. Very he's good. he's very old school. He's a he's just a, a unit. He's not afraid to get into for the headers. Um, he's he's brilliant. Right, so you're going to watch our first game here, that, well, that we've streamed. Uh, 
We've got Middlesbrough at home. Tough game. Tough game. They've got ch uh, a big Chubberack pom up top. Sammy Sam Morsey in midfield. I, I don't think I'll be tackling him. One of Connor's favourite men. Oh. Oh, I would like to point out, by the way, Connor is a big Wigan fan. And yeah. I would also like to point out on the back of that that Connor scored against Wigan. He I, didn't celebrate. I, did. I didn't celebrate. I didn't. I wouldn't let my players celebrate when I scored against Wigan. But like to, what, what makes it worse is we were three one up, <laughs> and it was the 90th minute. Score. He didn't need to score, but Connor felt the need to whack a header <laughs> no, into the top. I in. just hit shoot, and it just went in. No, he. he no, I would. I would never. The I ball never. whipped in, but he, yeah, he, he didn't celebrate. Um, also, what are your thoughts on Divock Origi? Oh my g. Uh, I mean. <laughs> We've literally just been talking about Divock Divo Origi. I have just been talking about Divock Origi. Um, right. The thing for this is, Connor can do his skill challenge while I ask it. Uh, it's quite difficult to talk about it on stream because this has got to be quite PG. <laughs> um, I, honestly, my professional bit, I feel quite bad because when we signed him off the back of that performance for Belgium, I thought, you know, we've, we've got an absolute player on our hands here. Our cameras on he came man. in. He was terrible. He was he was terrible. Went out on loan. You know, he came back and he was decent. Now, the thing with Divock Origi is, he will forever be known as a cult icon at Liverpool just because of the important goals he scored. However, he's he's possibly up there for me as one of the worst Liverpool strikers I've, I've seen play. And we've had some bad ones. But he's just, he's lazy. He's not, he's not, I was saying as, as an outsider, I, I just think it's the system. I just think, he's, I, I find him lazy. I think he's not very I do think technically good. If there was a team that did just lump the ball up like I mean he would never go to Burnley I do, think he'd, I do think he'd get goals I do genuinely worst striker over Carroll oh, he, Origi no. or Carroll uh, uh, Josh are you asking the worst striker ever for Liverpool in my opinion or is Divock Origi over Andy Carroll because for me the worst striker ever at Liverpool for me is a very easy one and it's, it's got to be Andre Voronin uh, he's the only man I've ever known to be outscored by a beach ball. So, yeah, Andre Voronin easily. Uh, Andy Carroll, that signing still gives me nightmares. Um, I mean, what, 50, 50 million for Torres and then we signed Andy Carroll. I mean, it's, it's some of the worst transfer business I think I've ever seen. But we've had some bad ones at Liverpool, you know. Um, Balotelli... Ricky Lambert, but I feel like that was Sam more just sort of a, a thing for Ricky Lambert of going, you know, sort of been romantic signing. Yeah, it was a romantic signing. Um, but, you know, he was never great. Oh, what a thing. But Balotelli. Well, it could be Balotelli. Um, there's got to be a word, but Vorin, Vorin for me. Um, there's a couple that I think didn't reach the potential. This, this people, if there's Liverpool fans on this stream right now, feel free to put your comments in about this because I'd like to discuss it. Um, one that didn't reach his potential that I thought was quite good or could have been good was David and Gog. Um, I just thought his attitude and he was extremely, extremely lazy. He'd lose the ball and he just would not go for it back. But I, I, I do think he had the potential to be a decent player. It just didn't work out. Good turn, Josh, lad. Uh, his goal against, I'll never ever forget his goal against oh, Arsenal. Goal. We, you know, we kicked off, he run up the line the and then just verdict. smacked it. I'll never forget that. Over it comes. Got a bang. Not so. that convincing defensively. To be fair, Josh, you know, you've, it might be on for them. you've pulled in with quite a few assists. Uh, this season as well, you've been you've been good at we right back. Yeah, he's he's a more attacking right back advance, than a I think you defensive one. I think when we want to defend, fella, Sam Laycock's please? probably what a bit better, but just because of the size of yeah, yeah it's, it's your height, <laughs> <laughs> Josh, mate, that lets you down. But uh, apart from that, you, you're super. How tall have you made, Josh? Uh, Josh, we. We obviously couldn't be realistic and put you at four foot, so I think, <laughs> I think we put you at like five, six, yeah, five, seven. Something like, that. something like that, mate. Put it this way, you're not winning headers. That's, but you do ping a good ball in. Oh, it's a bit high for me, that. Yeah, I thought you were in there. Uh, sorry, Josh, I can't slate you for your headers after mine there. Um, yeah, guys, oh, we've got another. That's generous for Josh. It certainly is, certainly is generous for Josh, but... 
you know, Danny Alves on crack going kick. forward. Yeah, you, you're very, very good going forward. It's just, just defensively sometimes you're just caught completely out of position. But uh, you, you're a bit like you're a bit like game. Trent Alexander-Arnold, yeah, Josh. Yeah, you can't no defend for Toffee, but that the Barrow Trent going going forward. I mean, look at you here. You'd think you're playing right wing. I, hopefully you can cross better than Josh. Also, guys, um, if anyone does just honestly pop random football questions or even random questions in the chat. Well, oh, Louis. Wait, we'll talk to him. Louis, Louis. I'll be caught that chubber up on me. Yeah, we'll, we'll answer anything. We've got a bit of a range of knowledge. Oh, Good Kyle. Oh, oh, boys. Oh, one boys, 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 boys. That's a bad dude. <coughs> we'll, uh, we got we'll, caught we'll that. We'll concentrate. Really. We haven't got any, any questions at the moment. Yeah, so the yeah, chuck questions at us. It can be football related. It can be absolutely bizarre. We don't really care what it's about. We're here to answer Barton. all your needs in lockdown. Fucking hell, Molly. You big gimp. We got this. Wing on the wing. Oh, he's classing. He scored two fucking corkers at the DW. Fletcher. Last season it was. Ackbomb. When we were. Oh, referee. What would you do to Bolton to get them out the hole they're in? Uh, me, personally, I wouldn't get them out the hole they're in. I'd absolutely <laughs> leave them in the hole and let them rot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, obviously, with us. Uh, what would they do with Bolton? They're not necessarily in a hole anymore. Like, they've got an owner in that's now putting money in it. They're just not doing well in the league. and I think that's down to the manager. Like They've got Ian Everton. And he's not really that experienced. I mean, he's only had, he, he was at Barrow. He got Barrow promoted. Um, he's not as good as us, but he's just, it's James. inexperienced management, and I, th I think. And but I don't really know who else would go in. But the, in terms of like the, the club, they're, they're, well, they're quite they a stable club now. Like. Oh, and, oh, oh Molly! Who's the only player in the Champions League with three? Who's the only player with three different clubs? Oh. Right, see, now, I know a lot of people will go for an obvious punt of Zlatan, but he actually Played hasn't won any. Yes, oh, Collins! Big Banksy with the header. Um, the only player to win three... Oh. Um, I reckon it's someone think. so obscure. I reckon it's, yeah, someone that's been at, like... Maybe not played. Well, here's the replay oh, uh, Jodis Kiri into, into Milan, by Munich, Liverpool. He's absolutely superb. Um, well, Tell me I'm right, Josh. Tell me I'm right. He said no. Tell me I'm wrong, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think about. Surely, surely Jordan's got to have done it. Did he win it into the? He's going for Maybe not. Well I don't know here. where he was. Right, maybe don't um, I tell you what, Josh. For half a point, can I have the three teams? Well, he's got fast as man. I think on a bank. I feel like we might be talking years ago as well. Are they, are they recent or? Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah, is it recent or wait? Ajax, and Madrid, and AC Milan. Oh, course. um, thingy. Oh, Barbara, blah, 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 blah. Barbara. Yeah, Barbara. Barton. No, I know who it is now. Now he said the clubs. What was his James. name? Big butt. Oh, you're you're. you're a bit... It's you. <laughs> you're a bit low. Uh, yeah. One second, guys. We've just had a technical hitch on the controllers. Um, I actually owned Nice Milan. Dutch man. Not Clarence Seidorf. Yeah, Cla oh, Clarence Seidorf. Tell me I'm right, Joshy. Tell me I'm right, boy. Clarence. Clarence Seidorf. Come on. Big Clarence. Why are you going on rolling, you? Conan for the minute. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll sign in now. Sorry, Ronan. Oh, no, you're yellow. Oh, we can't be playing that. Turn that off again. Get off, you big what, game. Uh, press. How do I turn the... Uh, yeah, uh, one second, guys. Connor's just sorting out his profile. I've got an Xbox, so... Um, right, keep all the places in button. Go down to power. No, up, like, <laughs> for... Um, no, no. Switch user. Yeah, yeah, switch user. Friend request receive. Oh, that's Ron's. Meet secrecy. Who the fuck's meet secrecy? Meet secrecy. Uh, he might be in again. Uh, yeah. yeah, any of them here. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm well, pink now. He's done it. Dan has done it. I am Clarence Seidorf. Ping me some more, Josh. I like this. We we do love a good uh, football quiz. Um, right, one second, boys. We will. We are jumping back into the game now. Connor's just. I'm fucking purple now. Con Connor's purple. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, a tremendous block. 
Right, we're in. Cool. We, we, we are back now, boys. Sorry about that. Fucking purple. Wood. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, who is the only Jamaican score in Premier League hat-trick? Uh, Usain Bolt. One Pablo be gone. <laughs> He did it in a uh, probably a training session for United or something. Trying to think of Jamaican players. Um, oh, can we Jones? No, he was he was Trinidad. Uh, Trinidad. Um, Jamaican. Where's Morgan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ravel Morrison. <laughs> Great feat, Josh Ravensbrook. I know that. Ravel Morrison's just changed. Um, the only Jamaican. Oh, we've got a free kick. Fight. Oh, um, I, I surely to think of Jamaicans. So am I. Um, um, what club was he at? If he's got to be like lower than he. Yeah. Think Leighton Orient con for lower league then. Oh, what's his name? Um, Did it is it Leighton Orient? No, is he like 37? Uh, Joby McEnough. Oh, Joby McEnough. Tell us we're right, Josh. Got to be right. No. no. Um, Jamaican. Jamaican. He was at Bolton. Um, Jamaican at Bolton. Keepers. I bet. I bet Joe at Illinois is how he tells us. Yeah. I'm Illinois. trying to think. Jamaicans at Bolton. Um. He wasn't at Bolton. Oh, he wasn't at oh, Bolton. Josh. You want, now you've done your research, tell us where he was at. Yeah, we're well, getting your clubs wrong here. Yeah, we're, we're sat here racking our brains, thinking of a player who doesn't exist. Charlton when he did it. Charlton? I don't think that helps me, actually. Where was, was Darius was how British? James, what can no, they do was, from was, here? Don't know. Was he Jamaican? Is Darius Vassell the answer? No. No. Uh, you stumped us here. Um, it's a while ago because Charlton have been in the Prem for a, for a while. Leighton Orient. What, the key, I'm, I'm confused about the, the Leighton Orient. Le um, hint. Is he at Leighton Orient now? Or is it, he's got a retired, surely. Unless he was younger. Charles. Yeah, maybe. Attacking possibilities. Chance to play it in. Was it Kofi Kingston? <laughs> Did he do it after the Royal Rumble? Match, to be fair. What's up? What's up? Knowing knowing Kofi Kingston, oh. he's got to be off. Dirt. Played 111 get work on would probably know him from. The only the genuine only person is Joby McEnough that I can think of. Uh, go on Josh, tell us the answer. Tell us your secret Jamaican friend. It's, it's a good question to be fair. It's like. a top question. Kevin, Kevin Lisby. Big dude, that's uh, a top question that Josh. Fair play. I wouldn't have got that. I wouldn't have got it. No, that's a top question. Top question. At one goal apiece? Oh, not our game. He was talking to uh, 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 that Scottish man. Alan McAnally. McAnally. Well, Alan McAnally. There's been a goal at the Majeski. There's uh, not. You need your to take charge. Oh, there might have been, you never know. Wing. That's one you hear for me yes, when you're that, That's a great shot. I like that, Josh. If we get the question the wrong, I'll give you a shot. But, you know, don't be asking me ludicrous things. Like, yeah, what's the name of your favourite ever pet? Should be a good game, that. Well, hopefully that's yeah, not that's the commentator's it. curse. Real danger. James Darby! Oh! Go, 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 go! And then, you know, he's nice. Oh, he's got a gay dance going on. That's his celebration. He loves it. Josh, Josh Harvey, rugby tackling him. Wow, oh, Josh, uh, Josh Harvey, not Josh Rames, got. Is he even on? Uh, if you're on here, or in Josh Rames, I sent him the link. <laughs> you will notice. We, oh, oh, I'll answer your question in a second, Josh. Which, oh, go on. We, uh, we, we have spelt your name wrong on the back of your shirt. Uh, on purpose. That is on purpose, it's not a typo. It's because you're because a retard. You're a retard, I'll make it absolutely wrong. So we thought it's something you'd do. 
So we have tried to make this realistic, guys, as you can tell. After this attack, we'll read the, we'll read the right, I'll read your question. We just need to make sure that we, you know, we keep all of this win here. Yeah. It's a big do. What, what's your opinion James. on the uh, Barrow team so far, Mr. Ravenscroft? Or anyone on this, on this view, what, tell us your opinion so far. Josh Harvey! Oh, <laughs> Josh that's Harvey. so bad. Josh Harvey. Uh, what four players have scored Premier League hat-tricks for three different clubs? <laughs> uh, Anelka? Surely. Mate, he's got to be in there. Maybe Josh has got to get a drink. Uh, Josh going to get a drink. Uh, uh, I, I feel like Anelka's got to be one of them. He's played for fucking everyone. Did you make the phone? Uh, Tottenham, Portsmouth, West Ham. West Ham, maybe. Um, oh, we uh, can't add a new signing because we've already dinged it, so we'd have to reset. Oh, Josh! <laughs> you, your clearance is, is cost us there. The four, not it is is an Elka one of them. Yeah, yeah he's an Elka one. Got surely. Liverpool, Bolton, oh, West do, Brom, yeah, so Chelsea. He's been at enough clubs to do it. Uh, who else is a bit of a... An Elka is German. German. Yeah. Um, trying, I'm just trying to think of... Crouchy could be a show. Stoke. Yeah, he got a couple at Stoke. Stoke. Tottenham. Portsmouth. Yeah, Peter Crouch. Crouch isn't. Uh, Andy Cole. Good one. Good show. Oh, Ronan! You know when he the ball. Cole isn't. Sure oh, uh, Connor Salmon. <laughs> he was shit him. Oh, we're getting done over here, boys. Hell, you've been turned there, Louis Allen. Oh, Ravenscroft is, I think he's not today. Skinned alive. Um, Call isn't crouching. Crouch, eh? Got an Elka. To be fair, you might have only been at three clubs. Yeah, but even still, that, that's a lot of Premier League clubs to be at. They might not even be a straight. Scott Parker? I know he's been at a lot of clubs, he might have not scored actually got all of them to be fair. Probably hasn't actually. One was at QPR, Newcastle and Tottenham. Uh, oh, uh, a bit, a bit, a bit Genus, do you mean Genus? He was, he's been at all of them, I don't know if it's him. I was going to go with um, Les Ferdinand. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, for Jermaine Genus. Les, Les Ferdinand pops up. He's the answer for every question, apparently. We were doing a quiz once and Les Ferdinand just seemed to be the answer. Harvey! Oh, no! <laughs> Les Ferdinand was the first one. Boom. Big Les. Uh, so we've got one more to get. Uh, Les Ferdinand, Nicholas and Elka. And... Um... Lewis Wing. Last one was Arsenal, Nottingham Forest, Everton. Oh, that's it's a while ago. Um, who's Arsenal, Everton? Oh, we might. Oh, they've got Tavernier. Not an awful lot wrong with yeah, that Marcus game, Tavernier, not James. That's all right. I was a bit worried. Then I thought they'd make big signs here. Yeah. Nah. He wasn't far off, but he was a miss. He's just like a beat. We might need to alter his attack, you know. Uh, Arsenal, Everton. James. Nottingham Forest. <sighs> Struggling on that one. It's the Arsenal, Everton we should get. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he was probably a big player at Forest. Um, oh, oh, come on, man! And just the one minute left in normal time here. Oh, Josh. 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 Well, you've fallen over for You've done that twice and it's cost us a goal. Barton. Oh, oh, oh you might, might just be on. Barton's running in with you. Equalizer! 
Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, oh my forest. I think Josh needs to be dr to be dragged. I think he means dropped. To be fair, he will drag him. Freddie Cardwell will come and sort him out. British on belongs on. Um, the last one. He's a tough dude. Brett Sambalonga might be on the move today. Apparently, a swap deal with Bristol City for for Mara Jeju. We have entered the final minute of normal time. Ah, oh, boy! Um, I'm, 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 it's hard to talk and <laughs> play. Um, <laughs> Arsenal, Nottingham Forest, Everton. Just as we talk, where was it? Um, Wigan have confirmed the signing of Scott Wotton on loan from Plymouth. I'm not exactly over the moon about that, but um, might have to give up on that one. I'm yeah. struggling. Give us the third one, but that only equals a shot of corkies. Half a shot of corkies? We got two of them. Oh, true, yeah. And as Meatloaf said, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. Who is who is the mystery man? Um... Also, guys, um, if there is anything at all, not necessarily on this stream, but if there's anything that you want maybe to see us talk about, maybe like on a podcast or Teddy anything. Teddy Sheringham. Oh, Wait, no. Was Spurs United Pompey? What? So who's Arsenal, Nottingham, what? and Everton? <laughs> if you give us three random clubs here. What's going on, Josh? One was Spurs, United, Portsmouth. One got was QPR, right, QPR, Newcastle, Tottenham, we got. Oh, so like, Kevin, Kevin Campbell. Campbell. Oh, but there was so there was another one. Was, tell you what, Josh, you need to be watching your statistics, you, you, you lad. You, you've done us <laughs> over there. You, you've done, yeah. The last question you were telling us incorrect clubs. Now you're telling us more players than what you've asked us for. Um, yeah, we we are looking at also at doing uh, a podcast with a couple of guys uh, that do stream on Twitch. Um, so if there's anything that you'd want, you know us to talk about in a podcast if there's anything you'd like to see us discuss let us know um also one thing i do want to try actually chuck us just literally comment if you want comment some just players in the uh in the, in the chat um me and connor will tell you whether we think they are underrated or overrated because i can imagine this will divide some opinions yeah especially with the people in the chat as well mm. Um, you can also uh, uh, we will allow you to ask us our opinion on players in this Barrow squad whether we think they are overrated or underrated uh, Ray Bale, um, Bale. Oh, that's a tough one that's a, probably a you know good what? one to talk about Yeah, we were literally talking about we, that again, before as well you know, literally before we were streaming we were talking about Gareth Bale as well we've um, got Molly Barton and, and Bale Molly Barton and the... Bale well we'll start with Gareth Bale because we was actually just talking about that um, Gareth Bale. I mean, we were saying we didn't really understand, but we we did understand him going back to Spurs. But in the sense of, as we've described, it was a romantic side and it was to please the fans, as opposed to the fact that Mourinho wanted him. Um, the man's not played for two years. I, I I don't think you know people. I, I was watching him the other day and the commentators were talking about, oh, he's getting back to Gareth Bale fitness and he's getting back to. I don't think he is, and don't think he ever will. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think there is that. I think I, I still rate him, and I still think he'd do a job at Tottenham. And it's it's yeah. annoying to see him I, I, wasted. I just, I just but think I, any I guess. player who sits out for two years of that quality will not come back and be at that quality. And I'll be very shocked if he gets it back. I will. Um, but I, I'd like to see it. I mean. I don't really like Gareth Bale as I don't really like him as a person. I don't know him personally, but you know, from what I can tell by his character, I don't really like him. But as a player, he's arguably you know he was class. So he's a hard one to rate this season because he, I mean we've seen him against Marine and Wickham, right? Well, not yeah. really done much else. I think he started the game no. against Sheffield United away. He, he started against Brighton. Um, last night. I mean, they got beat one 0 so he obviously didn't do much. It, it, it's it's difficult because he's he's not really being played. But I, I still think, and I, I still, I I rate him as a player. I do rate him as, but I do think he'd do a job for Tottenham. I, do, I I find it sad that he's gone from being wasted at Madrid to being wasted at Tottenham. Oh, right, uh, Molly Barton. I think Molly Barton is completely on par. I don't think she's under or over. Yeah, she, she's. She comes up with big things. She does big. But things. then, as you saw at the end of that game, the she the misses the chances. Uh, team this season so far. 
Oh, okay. Uh, do you uh, do you want a team each, or do you want us to make a combined one? Because a combined one with we'll we'll some big discussions. Yeah. Or do you want us to just go like position? Oh, like, yeah. I'll pick keeper and Dan will pick. Yeah, like we'll do it that way. So if we make one, that's the way we'll do it. Or do you want each of our teams of the seasons? You tell us, boys, or girls, or peoples, or vegetables. Combined four three three. Oh, combined four three three. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Do you wanna? You, do you wanna take keeper? Yeah. Um. My keeper is is gonna be. I think a, a strange because I think a lot of people will go for a big keeper. But I think I know who you're gonna go for, and I think I agree. I've I've got to go where uh, Martin Ezra Miller. Oh, that's not where that's not where I thought you was going. For me, I think. But to be fair, I I probably don't disagree. I I thought you might have said either Alex McCarthy or Carl Darlow. Uh, and to be fair, yeah. I wouldn't have argued Car da Carl, Carl Darlow. Darlow. He's been a, unreal. Yeah, he's been fantastic. I just think maybe I think you look at where Villa were last season. Uh, yeah, I think you're looking at the impact season, of what Martinez impact, has had. Not yeah, just yeah. his performances, but the impact he's had. This season, I'm going to go Martinez in, in, in the net. Um, I'd, I'd probably. I'd, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick my eyes in the net. Um, so I need to take right back. Right back. Um, I, I was hoping to take one of the centre backs, to be honest. <laughs> well, you will get one of the centre backs. Right back. Um, but who's your right back? My, my heart wants to stick Reese James in, but I can't because it seems like he's not going to play in the Tuchel system. Um, oh, yeah, but he's only Tuchel's been there two games. So I know. But, can, can you? Can you but I, I don't think for? I could say he's, he's been the best right back. No. And I, I don't. I don't want to put Trent in because I you don't. He's not. He's not. In. He's not been good. As a local fan, you can't put Trent. Um, in. You can't. Yeah. City. I wouldn't put Wan Bissaka in. No. It's a difficult position to put in. Um, <laughs> it's tough. It's an hard one. Um, have, you, have you actually got any ideas? Um, I'm not. I wouldn't stick Wan Bissaka in. I wouldn't stick Kyle Ooh, Walker who's in. Who's at Leicester? Well, Castagna plays or he's uh, good. James Justin left or right? Left. So he, I think he could be in there, but I think Castagna's been good, but again, not player of the season. Right back is tough. You guys are tough on there with the four at the back. Um, <sighs> but my heart wants to stick Reese James in. We'll put we'll put him in. Um, because I, I I can't actually think of someone that you could say has been better no, than it. He's no, not been he's not been he's he's been super class. He's he's been he's been very good to be fair for that Chelsea back line. Um, I knew who one of my centre backs is easily. Oh go on then. well I'll let you pick first. Yannick Vestergaard has oh, to go in. Yeah has yeah. to go in. First centre back in there is Yannick Vestergaard. Hundred percent. I know he's injured at the minute. We will start this game before we finish this. Uh, I know he is injured at the minute, but what a player. What he has been to, to say how he was when he first came in as well like he was an absolute liability he used to fall over his own feet yeah, he, he I literally so. I remember at Cardiff they, they played Cardiff away and he he gave them two goals basically but this season absolutely unreal he, he, he has to go in um, right I'm torn between two one I never thought I'd say and the other one again just because of his impact and the fact quite frankly he has been Absolutely outstanding. Um, the one I thought I'd never say is, is Kurt Zuma because he's come up with goals and he has been solid at the back of Chelsea. He has. Uh, the one for the impact for me is, is Fabinho because I think he's been absolutely remarkable at the back of Liverpool. And he's, you know, all right, he's a class CDM, but he's slotted in. And I disagree with both. You, you want? I mean, you want not past him. What are the names? I've, I've got one that I think we've watched a lot recently and it's Ruben Diaz. Oh, I just no, think yeah. he has to go in yeah. because, I mean, to be fair, I, when, I, when they signed him, I was a bit like, oh, they've got, they've got, um, they've got Ake in, they've got Laporte to come back, like, are they actually going to play him? But, I mean, we, we watched him against yeah. United, he literally yeah. controlled that back line and it, him with Stones seems to be... Yeah, uh, what a partnership! Well, I mean, it's like we, we were saying the other day, the fact top that scorers, you know, they've got Stones and Diaz playing the way they have been doing together. They've still got a fit Emmett Laporte in there. Laporte, well, he, he played they've, the other games. He, game, he didn't played he? the other day, but maybe that was due to resting. He had yeah. quite a rested squad. But then he's also got I, I, I Nathan mean, Ake for forty mil. Yeah, I, I do think that's where City Brown. will will come out on top in the league, and just because they can just so yeah, they no, can rest the squad. I'll take that. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go and I think set Ruben Diaz. Ruben Diaz, and we are going. Vestergaard. Yannick Vestergaard. By the way, if you like completely disagree with what we're saying, feel yeah. free to chuck, in chuck, the comments, chuck like, some names. Give in. us some names in the uh, left back. 
I, I'd probably go with your shirt to be fair. Yeah, I'm gonna go James Justin. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. Oh, oh I'm playing on silly fucking. Oh, you playing on Pez control? Josh right? has put his in. Oh, okay. Who've you gone with? Martin Yeah, or oh, as as what? Oh. I wouldn't put as Pilaquetta in. Are you joking? I'm sorry. I mean, Reese James has played most of the season. He's played most of the season. Has played quite. Has played like the last three or four games. I also wouldn't put Tyrone Mings in. Tyrone Mings. I, 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 I don't I, think he's like miles I, away from it. I get it, but, it, but I think for me, Vestergaard's been the best centre back in the league. Bruno, I, yeah, Bruno, Chill, De Bruyne. Chilwell is 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 a good chap, but I think James Justin's impact, saying that he you know he actually didn't. Oh, he's, he he's been play. class. He, he wasn't really meant meant to play. He wasn't meant to be in there, but he's come in and he's been absolutely outstanding. He can't. Uh, Josh, I, I had to put Reese James in because. Yeah, I, okay. I had to. I so, love him. Yeah. Uh, so left back, yeah, we are with James Justin. Four, three, three, three midfielders. Um, I mean, it's it's difficult because. Are we just shoving three midfielders in or a, no, a team I, that would work? I, I, no, yeah, we'll just shove three midfielders in. Uh, class. For, for me, um, you can't, you can't not put Bruno Fernandes in. Bruno Fernandes, has yeah, to be you in have there. to. Um, I'd like to say just because when I've watched him, he has been unbelievable. Don't know every team of the season though, but Hoiberg. Uh, yeah, I, I think especially um, how average he was at Southampton. Yeah, he's come in. Whether it's just he fits Mourinho's system, whatever it is. Well, he's just working. a fucking. He's just a unit. He's isn't working. He? Nothing get past him. So I think he's got to be in the shout getting in there. Um, there's a few. Uh, I, I don't think any of the Liverpool midfielders are, are in the. I see you put Wine Alderman in. I love Genie May, and I, I honestly I don't understand why it's taken us so long to just give the man what he wants. But I don't know his team in the season just because of that spell we had. He, you know, he didn't exactly create much fantastic out of it. Finish. It's me. Oh. Why am I in there? You look like that. Um, um, Sun, Sun has to. Yeah, if we're going with a three, with it, with a three, he's got to go in the, t or, in the front three. Or, or do we put him on that left? No. Like, right, okay. We're, we're, no, he's, no, he'll go in the three of the the, the, the front three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Well, uh, yeah, Josh, I completely agree with you there. Actually, about Jack Grealish. Alan. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. There. And do you know what? Jack Grealish Can't is he? doing it but season in, season out. To be fair, I, I don't want to leave out Phil Forden. Like, oh! oh Phil Forden's been mint. Like, I think we forget yeah. that he's so young. And he plays week in, week out now at City. So, right, we'll go with Bruno. We'll go... Are we going Hoiberg? I feel like he's got a goal for one of... Uh, who have we, who, who we got so far, sorry? We've got uh, Bruno, that's it. He's the only centre we've <laughs> put in. I, I feel like Phil Foden has to go in. Okay, we'll go with Phil Foden. And. Might be a chance here. Sway it. Oh, to me. I'll do. Oh! <laughs> fucking finish that, lad. I, I think we need Mourinho in here to be checking the wait for these. I thought he meant Mourinho in the team of the season. Oh no, he's not, he's not had to get his kit on yet. Yeah. Uh, um, and then, who else were you saying? Uh, Grealish? Grealish, yeah, we'll, Grealish go, we'll, has got go, we'll go Grealish. It's a bit attacking yeah. midfield. Yeah, we like to attack. We also concede a lot, but it's just like this Barrow team. Um, uh, front three, left, got to be Son. Son, got to be. The striker, that's a tough one. It is tough because there's so many For me, if, if we were a couple of weeks back, Calvert-Lewin has to be in there, but he just seems to become a lamppost again. I... I I'm not like I said it at the start of the season, and everyone was hyping Calvert Lewin, and I said, let's great challenge. Let's just hold horses on him because he's not done it last season. Didn't do the season yeah. before. So I did say let's hold horses. Whether he'll pull it back, we'll see. Yeah, he, I mean everyone goes through a bit of a dry spell, but it seems to be like going on and on and on now. Yeah, for me, Patrick Bamford's got to be in with a shout. Good um, show. He's got to be in with a shout of it. In fact, that I, yeah, I, I think just, massive just be, show. Yeah, just because. I mean, considering his last struggled. couple of 
Yeah, pff, the last two times. Been the prem. He's been terrible. He couldn't score a goal. No. Oh, that's wow. an awful morning. Um, so because of his change in, in form and how good he's become. Yeah, we'll go Pat Patrick Bamford, but there are so many strikers, man, that could be in there. Yeah. Um, a lot. And on the right, I'm sorry, but on the right, it's got to be Salah. Bam's a massive shot. Yeah. It's, who, who did you put in yours? Oh, you went Mane, yeah, some is. No, I'm sorry, Salah's got to be in there. He's top scorer, and to be honest, <laughs> if if we didn't have him this season, we'd, we'd struggle. He's come up with some massive, massive yeah, goals for no, us. I, I'd agree with that. Uh, I don't think he's been at his best, but I still think he's been the best right winger in the league, and I think that says a lot about him. Uh, but he, he's not been at his best by any stretch of the imagination. No, I agree, he's got, he's, he's got to go in there. I do agree. But he's got to be, he's top scoring the Prem, and he's playing out right. I mean, <sighs> so I mean, he's, he's top. James. Um, Win it back, man. Why am I so soft? But yeah, the, the, the I think the centre mids is the hard one because it, there's so many. Yeah, we, we. I mean, I, I would never play off midfield three because yeah, we'd it, have no defensive. Sy systematically, it would not work. But in terms of just for this team of the season, that I think the, the, the three I think have been yeah outstanding. Because I think you know people when they talk about team of the season. Whoa, referee! Big Curtie Davies killing him there. Uh, talk about just, you know, maybe how good they are as players. I don't think people look at so much the impact Davis. that they've had from oh, maybe no, last Thomas season him, to this yeah. season. They might not still be the best player, Hutchinson. but it's like Martinez, for example, for Villa. He's, you know, he's a good keeper. He's nowhere near the best keeper in the league, but the impact he's had for Aston Villa has been... Um, just unbelievable and that's been the, the well, trouble position for years now. Yeah. I mean, they had Nyland they brought that Croatian guy in and, uh, then they tried Tom Eaton and it, none of them worked no so you know people don't look at the impact necessarily of, of what what some of the players make and that's why I think some of the players have got into our team as opposed to them necessarily being the, the, the best um, not manager, sure. we'll chuck in a manager as well. Um, Chris Wilder. <laughs> yeah, Chris, Chrissy Wilder. Um, for me, it's at two. Either Dean Smith. Agreed. Or David Moyes. Oh, also agreed. Um, it's got to be one of them two. I mean, David Moyes. I mean, <sighs> yesterday. Look, ah, Liverpool, I do think, and, and, and I hate, I do genuinely hate myself for saying it. I do think Ollie has to have a mention just because of where United were last season. I don't think he, Freddy, I, Freddy's a bit tired here. I don't think he, he, he is the manager of the season or anything like that. But I do think for for so I probably. He, he said he'd go Dean, Dean Smith. I, I probably would agree with that, to be fair. Yeah, I think there's, there's, there's a few managers who... But, <laughs> you know, I do wonder, the are the, the teams that we're talking about in terms of West Ham and Villa and stuff, are they only doing what they're doing? Because it's such a strange season for everyone. Yeah. Um, you know, they were talking yesterday about West Ham being fifth and how far away actually are they from challenging for European they're, spots. I feel they're like they're miles away. In terms of players, they're... they're the, the, the miles Absolutely away. Absolutely miles away. Uh, and that's... Oh, no, 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 no. Kyle. Uh, and that's, you know... It, does it come down to the fact that it's such a strange season for, for everyone? Uh, we have things going on. That these teams are doing what they're doing. Um, I don't think that's the case for Sheffield United. I do just think the shit. Josh, I've got a bit of a question that we were talking about before. Oh, who do you think will win the Premier City? City. City. Uh, I'd be very, very surprised if it's anyone else. I do think it'll end up being a landslide to City. Uh, but I've got a question for actually both of you, seeing as you're both contributing. Um, we were talking about Tottenham, and if you were the Tottenham manager, what striker would you bring in to be Harry Kane's number two? And all, but is also good enough to step in when. Harry Kane inevitably gets injured like he does every single season. We we're, we're, we couldn't think because we couldn't think of it. We could, it's got to be realistic. It's got to be a striker that would be willing to come in and be number two. Yeah, and would we'll, we'll go to Spurs. Would we'll, would we'll go to Tottenham as well. So we 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 just we could we genuinely couldn't actually think of someone. We didn't think that'd be one that could you know go and do the job that they want and be happy doing it. Oh, would go in and do that? Would want to? Superb. Come on. They've lost it. No, uh, yeah. And the counter attack is on. Options that is a ball. That is a ball. Jeff yeah. the back post. 
I think for weeks I've been saying he. Oh, he oh, needs to go to header. He needs to go to header. Uh, yeah, so that, that's a tough one that we were, we were discussing before. We genuinely we didn't we didn't even know what league we'd go to. Like we didn't know what team. Like we we just genuinely couldn't actually think of of someone because they've got to be have to be a number two because no one's getting you know Harry Kane can not score for ten games and you know we won't get dropped. Yeah. So it's got to be somebody interested to see if you can, can think of someone. We've got a comment, but we'll we'll do this attack first. Milik, yeah. Um, well, he's just signed for a thingy, hasn't he? He just moved, so. But good touch. <laughs> In terms of what a beast. Yeah, yeah he has yeah, just gone out and loan. That was it. Yeah. Um, I, I I like Milik, but in the future maybe. But would he would he also? You've got to think about would he take me in number two? Would he take me number two? But second of all, would he fit that Spurs system? I can't imagine Milik linking up with Son. He's he's quite a quite a hefty. He's not very quick or you know, he's not exactly the best passer of the ball, is he? He's unbelievable at finishing. But would he fit that system? I agree. He's a class striker. I I like him. I've always liked him. But would he go be in number two when he could play for you know clearly a European team every week? Uh, I I personally don't don't think so. It's a good shout though. It is a good Top shout. shout. I mean the closest we could think of is if Danny Ings would be willing to do it, but, but I, 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 don't, I, I don't think he would. No, I said he'd be very stupid if he did. Josh, you've been turned up. He's off. He's off. He's offside. Get off. Put that flag up, my friend. Put it up. Yeah. Um. It'd have to be somebody who, you know, plays for a, a decent team. Um. Place with decent side, but would just love a move to the Prem and wouldn't be too fussed about playing. That's fine. Uh, controversial Diego Costa. Yeah, I mean, do you know what? I, actually, I didn't even. I not That's actually thought about that. It's an absolutely superb shot. It is because. But would he go to Tottenham? Yeah, but to be honest, it's Diego Costa. I don't really think he gives a shit about much. No, yeah. I but, agree, but well, I don't know. I, d I don't see what the pull to Tottenham would be, kind of thing. I, I think it's a class no, show. I do think it's a class show. Um, yeah, that is a top shot actually on a free as well. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the kind of deal that fucking Daniel Levy likes. Yeah, free transfer. Nice little free transfer. Yeah, that's the top shot. The other cost. That is, yeah. To be fair, um, we didn't think about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout. But, as well, the final 20 of the game. I, I think Diego Costa probably still believes he's good enough to play for that. That, that you know, that's my play, thing because I mean, team. there was talks about Wolves like wanting him. I, I don't know how true it is, obviously, it's all just speculation. And I feel like Brown. if it if it was true and they did contact, I feel like he'd said no because I feel like he's probably got the belief if he wanted to, he could go and play really for a better club. And I, I rate Wolves, I think they're a great side, but don't think he'd go there because he thinks that he, he pr probably can go and get another a bigger club than Wolves anyway and they, they can have Divock the Origi if they want you know and a lot of options here. I'd uh, me come on Charlie Kirk is back up <laughs> uh, Michael Ma uh, Mandron played for fucking Wigan and he was just a big happy lump up top yeah, to be fair we didn't really give him a chance but yeah he was just a big smiling lump of shite up top yeah to be fair the, the, so you can have Divock Origi, um, but to be honest I'd give Divock Origi to anyone. Probably United, because I don't like United, so that'd be quite funny. But your luck though, he'd go and he'd score fucking buckets full. Oh yeah he would. Could cross it in here. I, I think we've got to pass that back to Craig, he's in fucking um, acres. But yeah, we, we, we didn't think that was a strange one. Um, just ten minutes to go. Oh man. Slips to be fair, one one away at Derby's not a bad point. No, this is our and first season in the championship position. by the way. So yeah, we we we've stormed League Two and League One, but they, they really we found the championship a little bit it's, tough. It's tough at the minute. We've got a good side, but the, oh, I think it's just off. <laughs> yeah, these, these championship the sides the It's a big step up in quality close. for from League One and League Two. We absolutely battered League One, League yeah, Two. Yeah, we were fucking. Uh, Ravenscroft, I will also say you had your worst ever game at Crewway. Yeah, we knew. We you won, won, but you, you were shite. Yes, 
Yes! Yes! Get in! Look at that! It's a big winner. I'm there. Good. I am Gotta there. just keep calm. Um, yeah, you were. You did it on purpose. You were, you were shit. Mr. Banks over here scoring against his own team. And you, and you, you were just letting him through. You were like, yeah, man, no worries. You just run through there. No idea why. I, I feel like you do have an idea. Yeah, we... Well, you, yeah, you, it was... Question for the chat. Um, who's England's best right back right now? Me and but Connor honestly, dis me and we disagree, disagree on this. We disagree. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. And it's not just me art that disagrees, it's it's actually me has got a bit of thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, well. weirdly, there's actually no bias in our opinions, but it will seem like the rest. Yeah, it will. will. Carl Kyle! Yes, Kyle, your hand soon! Ravenscroft all the way. Ravenscroft aside, obviously, because, you know. Do you know what? Have you had a falling out with Southgate? You, Ravenscroft, <laughs> he just does not want to pick you, mate. To be honest. He's not Look picked. at that, he's calm at the back, he, he knows what he's doing. No one has been. Uh, no one yet. No one's been called up yet. But, like we said, you know, we saw third season, first in the championship, so. We'll be on the way, boys. You'll be getting some international call ups, I believe. Yeah, I, I will be surprised if one of them short shoves a wan in the... Uh... Yeah, no, I, will, I, I, I think there's a couple of them. Big Banksy. Got to end this ref. Got to end this ref. Get rid of this and we'll have that whistle. Get rid. That'll do, ref. He's out of the box there. He's not doing anything. Gaz saw me put Oh, no, 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 no. No. To be this time. Yes. Oh, Gareth Southgate short saw him put Grealish in. That's why he's had a fall out. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, my chat is frozen, boys. So I, I'm still on the beat, Commander. I'll, 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 I'll you know. Okay, yeah, you, you would. Um, so you obviously said that. Who, who's, who did he say? He said he's put Grealish in his team of the season. That's why Southgate's not his friend anymore. Because oh, it's, it's because you didn't. You got Trippier. Trips. Oh. Really? Oh, that's that's neither of ours. I, I, I personally would. Maybe Walker. It depends. I mean, I, I like Kyle Walker, me, but it's annoying me at the minute because is he a right back or are he starting to class him as a centre back? In, or what's what is he? What's he doing? In England system, he's a centre back now. Exactly, that's what I mean. So, and I don't really know. But it's not. He's not for me. I I, I really don't. I I think there's. A, I think Wan Bissaka is probably above him. I put one yeah. Bissaka above him. For me, I, I went, and I'm not saying the best defensively, I'm saying who I would have in my team, and it would be Trent. When he's on his day, it'd be Trent. Mine's easily Rhys James. Like, but Connor's Rhys James. He's so good defensively, and he can whip a ball in. Like, don't get me wrong, if we're playing a team like San Marino, I'm playing Trent, because he will whip. He, he, he'll probably score, to be honest. But I feel like if I need to be more defensively, like we're playing a, a better side, I think Rhys James is better defensively. Yeah, I'm gonna close this a minute and then try and get my chat back up here. Um, yeah. Oh, can we just note there, boys? I am now also the top scorer in the championship. Thanks to my two goals that have just popped in there. Milner when he has to sub in easily. What are we saying here? Because my chat's reloading now. Oh yeah, here we go. Milner when he has to sub. <laughs> Jimmy Milner. I'll tell you now. Jimmy Milner will do a job for anyone. The man's 35, right? And he, he's still playing. He's still starting for Liverpool. I mean. What a machine. The man's a beast. I, I love James Milner. I love him. Maybe I, an even harder question. Who's England's best cam? Jack Grealish. Really? Yeah, Jack Grealish. I, I still think me, I still think Jack Grealish is underrated. No, I, I, I agree, but... And, uh, for me, yeah. I mean, There's wow. a lot of options. There's Forden, there's Grealish, there's... Trivia again for you, lads. Six German players who've won the Premier League. Oh. Um. Right, City, Ilkay Gundogan. What is it? Six Germans. Six Germans. Robert Hoof. Robert Hoof, Ilkay Gundogan. Did Jens Lehmann win it at Arsenal? Probably. Jens Lehmann. Um, Chelsea did any more? Have Arsenal had any? Any more? Not I can think of that would that would have won it anyway. That's free. United have they had any Germans? Did Schweinsteiger win it? No. no. Oh, he was after that. Um, Il Ilkay Jens and Hugh oh, Orlin. Ilkay Jens and Hugh Orlin, yeah. Um, um, City, have City got any more? Not all I can think of, Jens. Just, just Gundam, on it? Oh, uh, Leroy Sane. Leroy Sane. 
Leo Sane's got to be in there. Uh, I don't think there was any more in that Leicester side. Don't think there was. No, I think it was just Hoof, wasn't it? Yeah, big Robbie Hoof. Oh no! Where was Leonardo Ochoa from? Not Germany. There was, I'm sure they had a German striker. I'm sure they did. Oh, with Kramich? Was he there? Oh, I don't know. Nah, no, they had a Ochoa. Shinji Okazaki, he's not German. Jamie Vardy, he's definitely not German. Jamie Vardy, he's definitely not German. Both Chelsea, both at Chelsea now. Both Chelsea now. Germans at Chelsea. Right, keepers, no. No. It's, it's got to be an older player though. Oh no, it might not be actually. Strikers, I haven't got any German strikers. Nah. Who oh, no, no, Werner didn't win the Premier League. Werner <laughs> win the Premier League? <laughs> he can't even score. Um, what's that? Um, Both Chelsea, not at Chelsea now. What? What? Oh, oh they, they were at Chelsea, they were when, they at Chelsea when they won it. Um, um, Michael Ballack. Ah, oh, big show. I don't think he won it. He might have done actually. Michael Ballack. Probably did. Um, if we get Ballack, that puts on five. We need one more then. Yeah, Ballack, yes. Ballack, yes, we need one more. Um, Chelsea. One more. It's got to be in that, that team. Got to be. Can't think of another German. Or. Mourinho's first little reign, that yeah. squadron. But who'd they Do you have? have any Germans though? Nah, they yeah. had. Well, they had Petr Cech, he's not German. Um, Cavalio, Terry, Galas, no, French, Portuguese, English. Midfielders, Makaleli, French. Kalu, Maluda, French, Nigerian. Um, I reckon it's someone young, you know. They've not had any. I don't mean they've had any. Of a senior. No, I got. I got. And it was senior Germans. They're at Chelsea when they won it. At Chelsea. When Who? They won. Oh, what band? The last. The last time they won it like, with Conte. Conte. Who was in that side? <laughs> David Louise, Victor Moses, Brazilian, Gary Cahill, Cahill. English. Um. Six ones. Diego yeah, Costa. You can't make up what mind it, what nationality he is. Yeah. Um, Rumour has it Diego Costa's going to play for China next week. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm struggling. Not last one. German. Uh, I, I, I think. Uh, give us a hint. Was he in Conte's side or, or before Marini, that? Yeah. Or yeah, before that. Yeah. Yeah. Also, World Cup winner. Oh, so he's a senior German player. Oh, so he's got to be. Uh, he's got to be in that 2006, and not he? That's when they won. No, 2006. They, they won the, the World Cup. The last one. Yeah. Not the last. No, one. They won the, the one before that. So that was 2010. No, they didn't win the 2010. 14. The one after. I mixed years. It's 14. Yeah, because he beat Argentina. Right. 2014-15. Won yeah. it with Chelsea. That's. So who's in that Germany squad? It's not as Gertz, uh, they have a play in the Prem. Uh, we've got Villa away in the cup. Oh, uh, they do. There you are, look at that. Villa away in the cup. Coming to Villa Park. What a shit hole. I think. Why do I feel like it's someone really obvious that we're just not getting? Yeah, I bet it will be. Matt hey. Summers, no, no, no. Mustafi. <laughs> he just picked the Chelsea. If, if he fucking. Um, Any Premier League. Chelsea was it that? Uh, give us a hint. What position did he play? Sorry. We're really we're we're struggling on this it's one. It's a tough day this year. Yeah. So now you can see number five quite easy. I really believe it. Definitely. We're pushing for the playoffs, boys. We could be in the Prem by the end of the season. Sunderland the 20th. Sunderland is shy. We're going to Stadium of Light. We are going to Stadium of Light. And it's live. Um. Left mid slash left winger, if I remember right. Shirley at left then, surely? Shirley? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Andre Schurler. 
Might, I, I feel like he might have gone by then. Andre Schurler. Yes. Smashed it. Come on, the boys. Thank you very much. They're retired now. Shame that one. Yeah, he was a good player. Flanagan in the back. It's Tom Flanagan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one wants John Flanagan. Well, Keith, Keith. Keith. Fucking thing has not been good. Keith. <laughs> we'll give Bobby a game. Bobby's playing. Jordan oh. Bobby Watson. To be fair, we might need to be a bit more defensive today, so I do apologise, Josh. Oh, Josh, you're right the side. You are on the bench for the stadium of light. How do you feel? How do you feel you've been put on the bench? I'm trying to think of any good questions that we can ask them. Yeah. Um. Oh wait. Oh. If I, if Stadium I of shite. <laughs> if I can remember the third one. Um, right, I can only remember two of them, but there is a third. But I'll, if you can name two of them, I'll uh, I'll give you them. Which two players? Well, no, who are the only three players? But I'll give you two of them. Uh, who are the only three players to score a hat-trick of headers in the Premier League? Hello, if you can get two out of the three... I'll give you it because I can't Lord. remember the one. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the but I, I'll be impressed. I remember the really obscure one that if, I got. If you get these, I'll be, I'll be impressed. Bro, but no, I will honestly well, make add yourself in. I will be impressed if you can get these. I did get one of them, like, he's an obscure one. I don't think I've got the other ones. Yeah. I can't remember the other ones, to be honest. Yeah, I'll, I'll be It's fucking impressed. sunny up oh, in Sunderland. Right there. Get me sunglasses out in Sunderland. At least Sammy Laycock won't tell. He won't burn either. He fucking loves it, Sammy. Oh. I'll tell you what, they'll be blinded, these then. We, you and Louis Allen at the back, them polished heads. I've got. We'll uh, we'll have a look at your comment in a sec. Yeah, once I'm just on the attack oh, nice here. Freddy Carwell's through. Great opportunity. Freddy Carney at the stadium alive. Hey, Pete. That's no, that that's the one right that everyone always pips for is Peter Crouch. He actually didn't. He scored a couple of perfect hat tricks, but he didn't score a hat trick ahead of us. Don't disrespect Crouchy like that. The man was technically unbelievable with his feet. I'll give you a hint on the one that I got because I can't remember the other ones. Uh, West Brom. John Barnes, no, not Barnesy. Okay, John Barnes. Oh, Will Greg's playing. What a man. Shearer. No. Alan? Oh, good guess he is. Harvey. Well, he looks. We, we could have we picked you side. here. Yeah, my hint for the obscure one is West Brom. West Brom, absolutely. Fairly recently. Seven minutes bleed, 1 0. Thanks as ever for the But not data. this season recently, when they were last in the Prem. Yeah. Sam Laycock's in there. Area. Oh, he's been clattered. Well, Not Rondon at West Brom. It was Solomon Rondon Solomon at West Brom. Solomon Rondon. Well, in that's one. That was the one that I got. I yeah. don't know why. Big Solomon. Oh, I meant to give it to Sam. He's too bright over there. Yeah, you can't see. The was state. it? Yes. Yeah, Solomon Rondon's one. Yeah, big Sol. That's one. You only need to get well the one I can remember. Uh, I'll give you a clue to the other one. My clue is, Josh for the team he scored the hat of headers for, he has also managed. James. Good clue. I don't know who it is. Cryptic clue. Harvey. That's a useful Josh cross. Harvey, that is a ping. Oh. And the danger clear. Head. Please give it. Please give it. Big Dunk at Everton. Oh, Joshy Ravenscroft, you have smashed it. It is Big Dunk. Duncan Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson, Rondon. And then some other mystery man that eludes my brain. I can't remember who the third one was. But yeah, I'll give you that. Uh, Josh Ravenscroft. Where should I put this pen? You'll have to comment quickly if I wasn't. Quick, quick, quick. Or he'll, he'll shoot. I've just got away this, Josh. Uh, my brain. I went right. You just said right. That's why you just said right. What a goal. Well, he's a right back, so we would have said right. You just said right. You just said it in the right. 
Josh, are you, since you're on the bench, are you helping well, Mr. Coma like uh, with tactics, or are you doing a Gareth Bale and napping? What is your attitude when you're on the bench? He's uh, he's taking a day off to play golf. That, yeah, that's my question, Josh. You've been put on the bench for the big game away at Sunderland. What is your attitude? Are you Ronaldo in the Euros on the touchline, or are you Gareth Bale taking a nap? He's ringing up crew. Uh, you, yeah. Can I get in your squad? You Do you remember both? how I played against <laughs> you, lads? Now they've given him too much space. Oh, bad day. Well Gone to watch the Alex away. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you've done it uh, under Bella, you've declared yourself unfit. To be fair, if I was given a day off, I think I'd be going watching Latix as well. But I'm the skipper, so I don't get days off. Take it away. Oh, no, no, no rest for you, man. They're on the scent of something positive. Go on, Bobby. Will he find the Bobby! 3-0. I'll tell you what, these Sunderland lads are oh, shit. Yeah, oh, no. you have sold Perry, so there's room. Josh, you have to you have to remove you, lad. You're not getting sold, man. We benched you for one game. Calm yourself. Just to rest well, you. You were you're looking a bit tired. Tell you what, Josh, at 3 0 you might be coming on at half time. Is this going to be a or maybe late on. Up to up. Yeah. <laughs> we did do that one game. We were like 5 0 up, so we put Connor up front. That's <laughs> good. He did score. <laughs> Connor put like 12 in for us last season. Oh, Bobby! Oh! Ambo! Shut up, big Tommy Flanagan. Wait, has he give it? What's he give? Did he give on ball? He has. Oh, he even, I, I didn't even know you were playing with handballs on. It's handball. Oh, it is handball. Get me on the wing at last 30. Yeah, I might do. We'll give you a pop. Fucking okay, hell, I was going a bit all over the place. I'm right? putting this in me. I've sent the keeper the wrong way again. Yeah, what, what, what do you reckon, Josh? Yeah. Handball or not handball? We, we oh, it's got to be. He, he pushed that away. He has a bit of a spazzy hand on that one. And to be honest, it was going in the opposite corner to where he... Uh, where he well, it. We can see it again. He's giving the keeper the eyes, sending completely the wrong way, and it makes for a relatively simple. I just want to say, well, this is some world penalty. class. We're not playing on amateur here. Sunderland are just this shit. Yeah, well, it proves why they're fucking what, 20 or something. They are 20 for me. James. Um, and a strong tackle. Yeah, man. They're, they're, they're bad. To be fair, did Sunderland come up with us? Uh, yeah. Josh oh, that's why they're so shit. They've not made the step up like we have. They've not got the squad. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant, and all of their team are enjoying this performance. That's do why they, they winning, stream? that's why they're one of the best teams. Josh and that? Uh, no, what can they do from Maybe here? they'd be up for a little bit of a football chat. Yeah, sure, yeah. I mean... Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it from the stands. I'm making runs. Well, Josh Harvey's well, turned up. Josh Harvey's here, man. To be fair, Josh, you you played all right this episode. Episode. This episode is. This is yeah. episode one of the Barrow career. Um, yeah. To be fair, Josh, you're doing well. I mean, I, I, do you know what, Josh? You know I love slating you. However, I actually can't in this game. You've been fantastic. You you do make runs down the wing. Also, Josh, note your run. Because it's just how we imagine you two <laughs> run if you ever did run. Uh, watch position. next time you get the ball, just watch your little run. It's fantastic. In fact, look, you you run like Raheem. I'm all. I'm all. He's give it. He's give it. This ref loves us. He loves us. He ball. fucking loves us. He's watching for everything. This I don't ref. think we've got a handball in this. Like. Alan. You ready, Josh? Here he is. Harvey. Raheem Sterling. <laughs> He's flexing, Bobby. Bobby's gone. George pulling back. Rodan! Oh, he's well, not got, got a great finish. finish. Yeah, Josh, you, you are like, you are Barrow's Raheem Sterling. In, well, in terms of running, anyway. But you're, you're a good left back, to be fair, and you've, you've come on leaps and bounds. You you were, when like we first started, man, you were well, absolutely abysmal. You made my back line look shite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, so you, did Josh Ravenscroft to be fair, but now he's yeah, it's solid. I mean, say it's solid, it, it it's good. Like individually, very good. We do just concede Bailey a lot of goals, but as you can see, we also put in a load. Sam raycott has got up, outdone there. I bet Josh Ravenscroft's liking that. Oh, he's, he's looking not. at it. Oh, 
Oh, he's not made it back. He's not made back up for it. Kyle straight in the hands. Can he free someone? He's almost freed you. Oh, the blue code nine will get that. Wide, that one. Yeah, man. Um, to be fair, Josh, you, I think you you have actually scored like maybe one or two goals. Yeah, you, a couple of couple. Oh, that's a super right, we'll let you know the the, <laughs> the goal of the season award last season did actually go. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, the goal of the season award did actually go to Sam. Just, just shrugged at Alan. Alan. <laughs> um, did go to Sam Lake. Just a rest, don't be salty. Yeah, calm down, Gareth Bale. Uh, the goal is to go to Sam Lake. Oh, we were, oh, he's got a cracker in the cup. <laughs> we were playing in Absolute the cup. Absolute cracker. Uh, the ball got sort of cleared from like a corner, he was. And oh, he just released released his heavy <laughs> lumber and he just flicked it back over the play like centre back's head. I and mean, then just volleys it into the bottom corner. Speaking of Freddie Lundberg, you know why um, Watford have signed Pochettino's son? They've also today signed um, Freddie Lundberg on a four year deal. Bergkamp's son. Bergkamp's son? Yeah. That's who was it wasn't even, not Freddie Lundberg, then it? No, it was, it was Bergkamp. Bergkamp, we did yeah. it. Yeah, not Freddie Lundberg, it's Bergkamp. I knew who you meant, I just got the. Kyle, Kyle you little cat. You know what he knows we're dicking Sunderland, so he, he likes it. Lovely. Look at this boys, you come on, and you know, we, we beat Derby too hard, we got beat the first game off Borough, but 2 well at Derby, now we're 4 nil up at the stadium, I like, it's, it's an easy do this, this championship business, look at me with pens, I love it, love a penalty, there's Mo Barton's Tash, it is fake, oh Ronan's knackered, yeah, we'll Martin get him off soon. Josh Ravens off crying for an appearance so in camp. I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. <laughs> Here comes Sam. Sammy Laycock. <laughs> Here comes Sam. Sammy Laycock. He's still going. Here comes Sam. He's got a pen. Oh. Ref. <laughs> Referee. <laughs> Referee. It's not on ball. He doesn't watch for anything that's not on ball. Who's? You, you, low. you must be low. Yeah. But, uh, but we'll get oh, Josh deal. Harvey, what a turn. Come on, Josh. Harvey makes the move to the inside. Is it black? Able to get his body in the way. <laughs> black guy, for you. Oh. Ronan, what are you doing? Let me, let me fucking hit it, you gimp. Might be so. oh, Trying to put boy. that top bins. Oh, well, I'm, I'm there. Well, this really ought to be a championship game. Can't Saber. see nothing. I, that, that, side. that side, you can't see it's fuck all. Absolutely nothing. I think they've done that strategically, but I think it's really hindered them more. Oh, Greg. I probably would have celebrated him with him if he scored. Um, question for the people watching. If your team, got to be realistic, if your team could make one side on deadline day, who would it be? Realistically, you can see one player sign for your team now on deadline day. Who are you signing? What, what's yours? For Liverpool? Yeah. Um, if I could pull anyone in now, realistic, maybe... It probably would it'd be a striker, but... Well, here it is, a striker's <laughs> brilliant, is, but it's a simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets question. him the goal. Goals and plentiful um, supply, 4-1 currently. Probably, do you know what? We won't spend the money, and some people say this is unrealistic, but I don't think it is at the minute. Uh, I'd go Dybala. Because there's a lot of talk of him leaving. We just, I just don't in think January, they will. we won't spend the money. I don't think they'll get rid of him. They've had chances. I mean, they had Tottenham and United, let's do begging for him. But, I don't know. Josh Harvey. Oh, what a ping! Ping did him as well. Went out with Josh, and then. Yeah, I'd, I'd be saying Diabala, mate. Oh! oh. Uh, yeah, I'd be going like Diabala. Um, Josh, obviously, you're also a, uh, a Liverpool fan. Um, Mr. Ravenscroft, who do you want in at crew? You can get anyone in. Who are you taking? Got to be realistic. You can't be asking for a Mbappe. And Jake. You're still with us, mate. Uh, 
I can't remember who's for. I, I want to say you're a, a Liverpool fan, but I think something tells me not. You might end up being like an older shot fan or something. Craig Corns. Oh, Craig. Yeah, Liverpool, cool. All right, then. Uh, Jake, I said Dybala. Who, if we could turn in on now, who would you want to bring in? Who would it be? Got to be realistic. I know it's hard to say that, like, for Liverpool. I think a lot of transfers are realistic, but, you know, January, sort of deadline day. Who, who would you want to bring in? Carrie Hansen's all day. Oh, Always like Morsey, yeah. Well, well, as a Wigan fan, I, <laughs> I absolutely would say like, I mean, he wouldn't go from Middlesbrough. He didn't want to come down to League One with us, but he's 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 fucking unreal. Like, not even just his ability. He's, I mean, he was a captain. He, he's just fucking. I love him. Like, I can't, I can't, I can literally can't say a bad word about him. He, he dragged the club through the worst period in its history. Um, as our captain, so oh, what a but yeah, he's unreal. He's class uh, in League One as well. Like I mean, he's been in League One with us twice, and he bosses it. He bosses it. He's so good. But yeah, yeah he, he, I don't. I, he wouldn't go for Middlesbrough. Championship only, only right? That would do me. <laughs> um, Ravenscroft, your wish has been granted, my friend. You are on the wing. Here you come. And he's fired over the corner, foiling them effectively. He's just a nice lad. Met him when he played for Chesterfield. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, I spoke to him a couple of times, like outside the ground. Um, he's just like he's just sound, like, and he's so committed and it's like a bit gay, like a bit determined, like he's he's just class, just an all-round class guy. <laughs> Love it. It, like, I was sad when he left the club, obviously, but I wasn't because I wanted him to go and play in the championship again. Like, as much as I'd love Sam Morsey now, like, he deserved to be in the championship. Yeah. Gave you a match worn shirt, decent. That's good. Josh Harvey, man, if you're still with us, who are you bringing in for Liverpool if you could? Josh Harvey would probably bring in fucking... Bring in yourself, man. I think he'd bring in... Nanny or something. Nanny? Wow. Jesus. He's at, uh, that weird club, Orlando now, isn't he? Yeah, Orlando. Josh is bombing down the wing. Joshy Ravenscroft. And a oh, it's a good block. It's a good block. Cross. Get him off. <laughs> they decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Josh is just asking the ref, can we not just have a corner for me, <laughs> man? <laughs> Gives it's you back to Josh Ravenscroft. Can he take the chance? Oh! Sound piece of On the left. It's on your weak foot, that, lad. It's a good do. Oh, Blackie, you can take that right off my noggin. Josh Harvey who's watching down, oh I know he's got an arc, he's not worried, he's not worried. He's got a throw in. Josh Harvey for his Rory de lap. <laughs> Puffing and asking how long now. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey. Yeah, you think class, don't lose that. Joshy, Joshy, Josh. Black Look, shit. Oh, oh, I don't think guys. that's a foul, referee. The referee has got to have a big think about it. Yellow. Oh, calm down, man. I think he comes over the ball. Well, Bonner is decent, but not sure I'd bring him in at Liverpool. Is what Jake said. Yeah, but well, do you know what? There was at the start, like near the window, there was talk was going for Bonner. But to be quite honest with you, man, we have been linked uh, if we centre back. I do like Bonner. Um, would you take up Bonner over this lad that you've signed? Kabak. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much about this Kabak. I mean, he starts every week and he's 20. Would you take up Bonner permanently over a loan for? I mean, I know it's an option to buy. Uh, no. The thing that worries me with Og Bonner is, is the same thing that worries me with uh, Reese Williams is his pace recovery. He yeah. can't recover. He, you know, he's, he's oh, class. He's class defensively, and. Not much gets past him really, but 
if someone gets through, he's not remaining. catching. Yeah. And at Liverpool, when we play such a high line, you've, you've either got to have the experience of the positioning like outstanding. Garni would be my choice at Liverpool. Josh says. Who? Not sure if he. Daniel Rigan is a good shout. He's, he's a good shout, but how old is he now? I don't know. I don't think he's ridiculously old. He's been around centuries, but I don't think he's that old. Yeah, because he burst onto the scene when he was young. Well, yeah, really yeah, regardless um, of which out. But would, I don't think he'd join. No, and you know what the thing is, is people, you know, we've only got maybe five, like four or five months left. The centre-back that we, we bring in, I think that's why this, this cutback could be perfect, because we don't need someone who's going to come in and be a big and star for us and start playing every game. And Great win. Um, only 26 bursts on... Yeah, yeah, that 18. Yeah, that's why. Um, but what we do need is someone who would do a job for five or six months and then is happy to be third choice centre back yeah. you know, I don't think I so mean someone like Dejan Lovren do but that. better than Dejan Lovren because he was terrible did you see his own goal the other day Lovren no <laughs> he chested it over his own keeper wow it's fucking horrendous I, I will never ever forget when Dejan Lovren described himself as the best centre back in the world. Oh yeah, because he said he he'd won the Champions League. He won the Champions League, he, he and, the Champions League the and he World took Cup Croatia final. to the World Cup final. So he's the best centre back in the world. He said. Yeah. Not, not sure about that one. No, bit of madness. The big one next, boys. We've got Villa away. It's a big one. It is a big one. I'm winning it from here though. And I also need to get my phone charger, but I'll 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 wait. Oh, okay. Oh. Interested, Josh, on the Pickering deal. Are you happy to get him back on loan? Because I, I, I've always said, for me, and I, I don't know if this is the same for you, if a player leaves for me, and obviously Pickering's got nothing against Crew, he's not gone to Blackburn to fuck you over, but for me, if a player leaves, a player leaves. Like I, I, I probably wouldn't want him back on loan. But I don't know if that's the same for you, though. You might have a completely different opinion. Oh, we stepped out for a second. That's fine. Um, Josh. You got a plug around this end of the room? Oh, is it only over there? What? Plug. Okay, that's it. Oh, there's one there, but... Yeah, I won't be able to... Oh, you... oh, he's back. Josh, I was just asking. Um, with Pickering leaving, obviously he's got nothing against Crew and that, like... But are you happy to get him back on loan? Because, uh, for me, my personal opinion is, if a player leaves the club, I probably wouldn't want them back on loan, like, especially after they've just moved. You, you might you might be like completely different. I'll I'll read the comment after I've got me uh me charger. Yeah. So Joe, you know what then? I don't know. Like if you guys were the same, me and Connor were saying. Um, did you ever, you know, like when you were in school or college, you would literally finish school, finish college, it was get home, get in front of that TV, watch Deadline Day till it ended. We were like, that, that's all we used to do, like, that's all I used to do, mate. Deadline Day was massive, like, when I was younger. Um, huge, boys. Like, did you guys do the same? football like so football uh, you'll have to uh, read out the chat oh yeah I'll, I'll read the comments mm. look I pick Keith what's a word been playing well lately
<laughs> Jockey Ravenscroft sent uh, he sent that one of them's watching the, the stream up and then the other one's watching Deadline Day. <laughs> Tell you what, Josh, that you know people That's a class set up. Yeah, so people put on like their, their best setups, dream setups and that. I think you've just smashed it there man. You've got our stream on and then you've got so Deadline Day. So you can keep us informed as well. So Is it any other moves going on around the around the leagues or not necessarily just our teams. I'm I'm in just interested in all all moves. Me, I want to. Has the Assemble longer deal gone through yet? Interested to see if they do that swap deal with that Famari Jeju. Oh, Villa got daily sync Robin. Mm. He's good him on this. Oh, they They're playing El Mahavadi on the wing. Well, oh. they might do. Who who on earth? Ch Chiquinho. Well, I don't know who that is. <laughs> what of their uh, Ch 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 in Chiquinho. Ah, oh, I think they'll. Uh, they might rest a few players against us. Drop in the comments your score predictions for this game. This is a tough one, we're probably going to have to concentrate quite a bit on this one. Yeah, Villa away, it's tough doing the cup. We've been after a cup run for a couple of years. Oh, we beat Liverpool in the last round. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, big news. I mean, to be fair, you probably saw it actually on the, uh, the, story. the Barrow Snapchat story. But we did, we, we beat Liverpool 3 2 in the last round. It's probably our, our proudest <laughs> moment managing these Barrow boys. Yeah, it was a big moment. It, it was huge. And. Uh, ooh, Josh Harvey says he thinks we'll win 4 2. Mr. Ravenscross says 3 1 to Styles, Corns, James, and Barton to score. I like it. Yeah. I like the confidence. I mean, to be fair, after us beating Liverpool, we probably should be confident in this one. But yeah. also, Corns is a big shot to score because he's the top scorer in the cup. Yeah, he is. Why? Go. Um, Josh, you, you need to add Connor on Snapchat. It's on the it's on Connor's Snapchat on a private story. Uh, you'll have to drop drop his. I'll put my. Yeah. Um, he'll, he'll put his Snapchat in the comments bit so you can add him on that. And then, <coughs> then if your friend wants to as well, I'll add him to the barrel. Yeah, we we've put it on a Snapchat story, man. So um, anything before this now. To be fair, any time we play it now, just we probably will stream, but. Things will just be added onto the so yeah. Anything, anything big that happens, it, yeah, we'll, everything goes on the story. Oh, we've got on there. Um, we will also stream at some point. Um, uh, we made basically oh reeks of a two 0 Ravens Cup and Barton and Jake. Uh, we did also make on Minecraft like a, a town where we basically the squad lives. Um, we've all got oh it's massive. It's, it's huge. huge. Like, it's absolutely massive. So we've got a big stadium that Connor built. And everyone has their own sub business uh, in the South football. Josh Ravenscroft, there is only one thing, <laughs> one thing that you could own as your sub business, and that, my friend, was a bargain booze. <laughs> you own the town's bargain booze. Um, Josh Harvey slash library, but you only sell picture books. <laughs> That's and the it's, it's all begins. you do, man. You sell the picture books. Uh, we've got a few others. Um, Freddie Cardwell has got a uh, optician, but you can buy contact lenses, but you can only buy one contact lens per person. Um, well, exactly Shav is never at jumping to our own things. Yeah, um, Craig Corn. He doesn't have a sub business. He just has a fishing pond. He's just got his own little fishing pond. Oh, Josh. Um, but couples are not allowed to show Jeez. affection. Running room turned. Oh, they pop up picture books. Josh, it is your store, man. If you want pop up Josh picture Harvey's books. waiting on the edge of the box. Josh Harvey! Oh. Uh, if you want pop up picture books, mate, you can sell your pop up picture books. You sell what you want, Joshy lad. But you have also got to do, you have like well, reading sessions as well. You have to read and show pictures, Josh. <laughs> 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 well, in Black Keith. It's a big dude for you. Yes, Derek, hi, oh, he's, what, he's got, got, got us a throw in as well. So. Um, Connor owns, he has Banks' as barbers. Because during back. lockdown, Connor has been doing his own trim and he also did mine. And it turns out Connor has actually got, he's, he's pretty good as a barber. We'll sit at the corner there, referee Florenzi's well, playing very well. Quite happily, I have got a lockdown trim, but it's a decent lockdown trim. Good do. Um, who else? Well, 
Uh, Lukaku Keith, Keith, the big centre uh, mid, uh, mid uh, he has, he owns Styles board control. control. Chris, look at the size of him. You're not gonna mess with him. You ain't getting past him. Does the pub do Sunday dinners? Asking for <laughs> asking for a Craig. Sorry, a mate. Um, yeah, man. There's, there's two actually. So there's also the place where Connor works. The the waterfront. We do Sunday roast. They do Sunday roast. That is also built into our town. Yeah. And Styles is also built into the. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for um, that final pass. Oh no no! Come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. I'll get him. Yeah, Kyle. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you want a cheeky Sunday roast, lad, you just pop down to the Hungry Horse and then get down to Styles afterwards. Oh, Kyle again with that whip. Oh, oh he's lefty. Come on, Molly Martin. Go on. Oh, unlucky. We started very well. You wouldn't know who's the Premier League team here. Come back to the next season. Back to you. Ravens Croft, look at that on the edge. He's absolutely Superb. sweeping up any trouble. guy here. Black guy, he needs to. Someone needs to move for him. He's seen Freddy. I'm not sure if Freddy's seen him. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy was looking at the Villa fans, I think. Molly. Craig. Oh. I didn't trust him anyway. It was it was dropping on his head. Oh, I've Ooh. been I've hey. been clattered there, ref. Black guy. Ambo. Josh Harvey on the edge. <laughs> Josh Harvey hit Craig in the head. Black oh, you've look at Molly back here doing the Yeah, we'll we leave her on the line because she's tiny. Yeah, she won't she wear it. She's not headers there. Ravens got great position. Oh, fantastic work. Fantastic work by Josh Super. Ravenscroft. He puts a great ball in. Win it. Go on, Dan James. Oh. Oh. Ravenscroft. Tell you what. Look at you. You're pulling up here, you know. That was fun. We've dropped him for one game and he's thought, pfft. You're showing no. over here. That's my position. Kick it like I that team. Oh, well in Molly. Drive. Ping. Craig. Ah. Tell you what, we're all over these men. We seem to play better in the cups when we're against a better side. Yeah. Because we know we need to play well. Oh my god! What a strike. Black Keith. What a strike. We got a comment. Being dropped taught me a lesson. He did, mate. <laughs> That run down the wing was naughty, it was a cracking ball in as well. I told you, you like you like Trent. One of these corners has got to go in. Oh, oh that's poor by me. That one, that's poor by me. We set back up now. They might have a chance to come at us. Have you got any other footballing opinion? Do you know what? Any opinions on anything, man? Like, it doesn't even have to be football, just any opinions, questions you want us to answer. Let us know, we will be here. Josh is on an holiday, so Black Hyper Keith is just helping him out the left back there. Well, the visitors oh, very much are the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so. They really have put the pressure on. You feel their play deserves a goal, but will they get Josh. one? Put <laughs> 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 behind that, lad. <laughs> a bit more clinical. Eve, that. You have leathered that. We've got a comment. Daily sink graphic. Three man, three managers to manage both Chelsea and Tottenham. And Jose Mourinho, uh, Andre Vias Boas. And oh, Watkins! <laughs> Sit down, Ollie Watkins. Chelsea. Boas, Mourinho. You learn the script time and time again, and, and he's now just gone and fluffed his lines. Got a bit older, one, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, I mean, I mean, goodbye, Courtney House. Goodbye, Dan James. Oh, what a save! Oh, man alive! That's my loss. Well, it's Chiquinho. Ravenscroft. Watch the run, man. Sinkgrafen. You, you've got him back. It's all Difficult right. Difficult to stop him. Well, watch your. The cross is on. Um, the third one is tough. Oh, Louis the Allen. Struggle on the third one. Um. Oh, oh, Molly. Jose AVB, yeah. <laughs> Someone weird like Jurgen Klinsmann. And here is Mings. Like Chelsea, was it? No, he didn't manage Chelsea. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of that. 
I think so. Yeah, his managers. Oh, well, I was thinking the Chelsea managers. Yeah. Di, Di Matteo. We did. did, not, did we, if we did that, we'd beat somewhere. Lampard hasn't managed. No. Sarri didn't manage. No. Um, I feel like I feel like we're, we're talking a while ago. Yeah, probably. we're talking all on here. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. I've got the chance to run that oh, oh, I like that. Could be. And still danger here. Conte, no. Yeah. Well, threat over for now. Oh, no, he didn't manage Spurs, did he? Ready early. The first half here comes to an end. No, it's Spurs. Eh. Uh, <laughs> who, who's before Ranny Early? Zola's not managed Spurs. So far, as the second half begins. Do you know what? We always seem to just miss one. Great. Yeah, I feel like this is probably one from a while ago. And the probably, challenge probably Big Glen Oddle. It's got to be around that here. No, they didn't manage Chelsea. Nah. No. Connor Hurahan. Oh, I don't feel like it's proper obscure. Gary, we saw him. Or someone who like was into him at Chelsea. Yeah. Or, like, well, there's been Spurs. fucking so many of them. Josh Arm, that is outstanding, mate. Goose heading. Rafa Benitez. Uh, Di Matteo. They're, they're the only ones that I can think. Glenn Oddle. Is it right? Glenn Oddle. Chelsea 93, 96. Spurs 2001, 2003. Big show. Oh. It's still on. Uh, guys, are we still on the stream? Like, can you still Olivera. hear us and stuff? Oh, and a perfect ball now. He's off. And fails to keep Is it still playing? Side, unfortunately. Yeah, we're still going, yeah. Oh, no, we've lost the stream. No, we're back on. It says we're there. Back on now. Player manager at his last season at Chelsea. I know. Yeah. Yeah, true actually, I forgot about that. You gonna pass the ball? What? Yeah, can hear but not see. Alright, uh, give me, let's just pause the game a minute. Right. Uh, I'll just, I'll stop this stream and I'll open it back up. Only more, more, more microphone. Uh, that stopped, bro.